as I read Soliloquy, um, I, I got the impression that there is kind of a need to break down narrative in a way, but I also found that there were other interesting forms of narrative that came up. I've read essays online that talk about how um, Kenny's overall like body of work is its own sort of narrative and about how uh, soliloquy makes a pretty traditional narrative kind of emerge as you like hear people talked about and then those people come up. But I also found like a meta narrative where I imagine Kenny going through the process of constructing the thing. Um, you know, I would occasionally find maybe like a typo or something and I could picture him just getting like completely bored with what he was doing and then bored as he read it oh, for his edits and kind of falling asleep and I don't right, know, so maybe, the, maybe the type was necessary, you, I don't know. But And I just wondered what other types of narratives maybe other people have found. Did you say you found a typo? And so look, yeah, or they seem to be typos, maybe they're intentional. Kenny, are they intentional? No, no. No, I, I don't know how you even read that thing. I've Wait a minute, I've, I just assigned all these I've people. I've certainly to... never read it. When you typed it, and, that and, wasn't and, reading it? And the editor clearly didn't read it. The proof <laughs> of the reader. I mean, honestly. So, uh, uh, but, you know, in terms of, in ter I, I'm not against narrative. Um, you know, I think it's hard to have uh, anything uh, that, that doesn't have narrative. Um, you know, it's just, I, I, I also kind of feel like the modernist project of, 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 of breaking down narrative, you know, after, after what week was language poetry, Al? 9.1, two weeks ago. Yeah, after 9.1, <laughs> uh, what could you do? And this is the sort of landscape that, 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 that conceptualists inherited, was after language had been pulverized to the extent that uh, uh, language poetry had pulverized it to, what are we to do? Shatter those grains of sand even smaller? It seemed really pointless. So to me, language poetry signified the end of modernism, that which begins with uh, Mallarmé, and finally, a hundred years later, grinds, literally grinds to a halt. Now what do we do? We start to find digital materials that are whole and strange, and I think Mike, Mike and, and, and Tracy can 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 sympathize with this and and it was sort of, sort of like the wholeness of uh, the found text online became uh, abstract and strange enough that 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 it was no longer about shattering the narrative it was about literally lifting the whole thing up and moving it from this context to this context and Florf did this very very well to make it new and strange Tracy um so do you see yourself similarly operating at the after the end of modernism? Do you have a relationship with modernism that you want to continue or how do you react to that part of Kenny's comment or any part of Kenny's comment? Well, um, I'm glad you framed it that way because a lot of people don't often ask me to comment on Kenny and I comment on Kenny a lot when unasked, <laughs> <laughs> usually with Kenny. Um, <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, I appreciate the, the, the notion of piggybacking and the whole notion of deconstruction and, and narrative. I think that um, Kenny's argument here dovetails into my little area, nook of the world in performance studies theory, which is one of the found foundational notions is that no behavior is new, that it's all twice behaved, right? That even when you, it's a configuration of things that you already know as behaviors that you may reinterpret, but there's nothing completely new. So that actually speaks to this notion of uncreativity. And what I think um, Kenny's uncreative work offers is a soliloquy, actually, you know, of the something of frameworks that pretend that they're not one person speaking. And so when that, the, when you hear this meta language that's lifted up you get this other kind of voicing that oftentimes tells you more than people intend, like the disturbing nature of traffic and weather reports and the anxiety they induce that are used to sell things. So the first time that Kenny and I had that conversation, being classic Kenny, he said, no, it's not doing any of that stuff. Um, Creating anxiety? Well, not that part. He actually didn't have a problem with that part, I don't think. But, you know, the fact that it wasn't necessarily lifting up in these patterns. But it is true that we do seek patterns, you know. It's, it's, a, it's a sentient being predisposition. Mm. And so I enjoy <laughs> thinking about 
deconstruction and reconstruction and narrative are simply formu different formulations of the same thing, which is trying to have a deeper understanding of an abstraction, which is language. So um, I don't feel like Kenny, Michael, and I are actually very far apart. It's just a it's a different constitution. And I don't I, personally, I don't feel like that's that we're far apart from any kind of language tradition. I feel I'm very close to Shakespeare. I feel like I'm very close to African languages that are the prototypes of American right. English, which right. is something that I've, I've written about a little bit. Yeah. Um, I just read an interesting article about the tra um, Gael Irish Gaelic language and how it's embedded in American language and how some of that is lost and abstracted with the prejudice against Irish Gaelic, um, Gaelic people. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm saying that, you know, we're, some, somebody told me something once about um, language poets. And this is a friend, active, skeptical friend. And they said, you know, the thing about language poets I don't like is that they just play around with words, like not serious, they play around with words. I said, that's what we all do. Mm -hmm. And it was kind you of... You got that <laughs> Tracy teacher voice on <laughs> Yeah, because it's like, first of all, I'm talking about my friends. Second of all, it's like, how is that different than any right. kind of... So, right, right, interesting. 